It's enough to drive you crazy if you let it. Working nine to five. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Retro Review. I am the Bearded Geek. Joining me, as always, is Mikey the Freak. What's up? And Steve. Hi, everybody. Steve. Today, we are going to be reviewing the movie 9 to 5. What a way to make a living. It is. It's a way to make a living. Barely five. getting by. I don't work 9 to 5. <laughs> it's all taken God, and no. not given. No, if, if if you did work nine to five, it'd be so much easier to record. <laughs> and I'd have a lot better of a social life. <laughs> this is true. I'm Mikey angry. the Freak, why don't you tell us a little bit about this movie? Yeah, uh, so IMDb says three female employees of a sexist, egotistical, lying, hypocritical bigot uh, find a way to turn the tables on them. So that that's just the um, it's very small gist of the movie. Um, basically, these three uh, three ladies uh, was it Violet, um, Dorley, and uh, Judy, which is Jane mm-hmm. Fauna, uh, Lily Tomlin, and uh, Dolly Parton, work in this uh, work in this business where they're secretaries, uh, technically secretaries in this business, and they want to change the change the tables as you can say but they Mm -hmm. want to make a huge change for the better they're always talked to like they're always talked down they're treated they're treated very poorly uh yeah this is like this is like the 1970s right 1980 but yeah i mean but yeah but it happened back then um so they wanted to they wanted to make a change so they end up um uh working a way to get her get dabney coleman's character uh frank um (laughs) Basically, get his wife out of here, um, and <laughs> Jesus Christ, and um, end up kidnapping him, leaving him at his house, tied up in the bedroom with a garage door with a opener garage with door sex opener, equipment, which was so funny. So you, he tries to get away, and she, they, everybody hit, hits the garage door open, and this just zips him right yeah, back up to like the top. Hang gliding, yeah. So so funny, uh, but they you know they end up keeping there, and then they make substantial changes to these to this business, mm-hmm. um, and it increases um, productivity by twenty percent, increases morale, um, everything, you, you know. Uh, so everything's up, and then the corporate notices. So he ends up getting away and comes back, um, and then the chairman, the board members, the big boss, uh, the big boss. Yeah, they they show up and say, "I love what you've done with the place." And he's like, "Um, thanks. What? What? Yeah, thanks, thanks." And it was all the it, behind the behind the whole thing was these three women. Mm-hmm. So it a great movie that actually showed how um, women back then could. It was empowering. I think it was a great movie with, with empowering women to Very really so. step up and say. I can be an executive in this business and I can do what I need to do uh, to help increase. And we don't have to be just secretaries or just pencil pushers or paper pushers, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, so I thought it was a very empowering movie, even, even for 1980. Uh, and yeah. then you start to see changes. Uh, Bearded Geek. Changes. Uh, you're right. It was one of those movies that showed how back then it was only basically men moving up the. <laughs> Chain. Uh, it, it was it, very sexist uh, back then, and it showed how women can actually change. And it, some of the rules that they did, some of the changes that they made, could be implemented now. I mean, like they said, if the employees are happy, productivity is going to be better, and mm-hmm. the company is going to improve if you keep your employees happy. I believe some companies now have actually forgotten all of that, but uh, it's one of those movies that. It's just fun. It shows how three women who weren't really friends to begin with came together and changed things. Dolly Parton in this movie was fantastic. Yeah. Um, I, I, I loved her in this movie, how she she wasn't very she wasn't trying to be like super sexy or anything in this movie. She was just trying to have a job. 
And uh, mm-hmm. I love how at the end, when they say, when they showed what everybody did after this, she says she quit her job and became a country western singer. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was funny. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. You're like, oh, that's true. It's one of those movies that you, you, you think you know, but then you sit there and watch and you just fall in love with these women. It's, it's very yeah. awesome. It's awesome. I, I, I love this movie. I, I thought one thing that was cool too, you, you mentioned about the uh, how they really didn't know each other. It's like one, Jane Fonda was new. So Judy was brand mm-hmm. new. Lily Tomlin, her character, Violet, was ready to become boss. Like she was next in line to become boss. And then uh, Dora Lee, Dolly Parton's character, was basically Frank Jr.'s secretary. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, she was the one that they thought were, was sleeping around with the with with him. They thought they were having an affair. Because so Frank, was de- Frank was telling everyone that they were. Exactly. Yeah. So when she finds out, she's like, oh, I'm getting back at this guy for it. Yeah. But and that's then, pretty much my him, thoughts. And then uh, they give him rat yeah. poison. Yeah. 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 That was yeah. <laughs> But uh, Steve, what do you think of this movie? Oh man, I'm not gonna say much about it because you guys have already said a lot. Uh, it's a good movie. I really like it. I liked it as a younger person, uh, mm-hmm. just for the comedy aspect of it, not really knowing the full aspect uh, of the work environment and the male-dominated yeah. industry uh, with all that. I, I I just always I just always thought it was a, a funny movie. Uh, I've always been a fan of Lily Tomlin. Uh, <clears throat> she's super funny with everything that she's done. Uh, Dabney Coleman was going crazy in the eighties with all of the great stuff that he did. Uh, so I was always a fan of Dabney Coleman and everything that he's done. Uh, so just all around, uh, it's a really good movie. Um, uh, and, and fun, uh, to see that they're all really kind of still, uh, together, uh, with Lily Tomlin and Jane Fonda. Uh, just doing 80 for Brady together with yeah. Sally Fields and, Re- and Rita Moreno. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's a good movie. I heard it's coming out. It was a lot of fun. I went and saw it in the theater, and uh, yeah. and, and, and it was it was a, a real blast. Uh, other than that, uh, I really do enjoy 9 to 5. What a way to make a living. <laughs> All right. I do have a couple of trivia uh, things in here. Uh There's a goof in here. In some versions, when Dora Lee lassos heart and he falls backwards, you can see the crash mat he falls onto. Nothing wrong with showing safety. (laughs) That's true. Safety always. (laughs) Dolly Parton bought nearly nearly her entire wardrobe from the film and has them all on display in her museum at Dollywood. That's cool. Nice. Got to go to Dollywood to check those out. Definitely, definitely. Uh, Lily Tomlin was nervous as this was an early film of hers and she used to exit her trailer each day pretending she actually was Violet and had been hired to make a movie about secretaries. Hmm. That's the one way to mentally prepare yourself. Yeah. She was the Daniel Day-Lewis before Daniel Day-Lewis was Daniel Day-Lewis. And I'm that like- is all I have for movie trivia. Uh, Steve, what do we have for soundtrack? Nine, nine to five. Nine to five. <laughs> nine, to nine, to nine to five. Make a living. <laughs> nine to five by Dolly Parton. That is that is the only uh, that is the only the only one. Yeah, man. I'm a lot of bed. Tumble out of bed and I stumble to the kitchen for myself a cup of ambition and yawn and stretch and start to come to life. Can't do more than 30 seconds, otherwise they flag you. Uh, That's true. So- Mikey the Freak, what do we have for some related <laughs> reels then? <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, so I went with your main characters, uh, Dolly Parton. Um, one of my favorite movies that Dolly Parton did uh, actually in the 80s was Best Little Whorehouse in Texas. I was always a huge fan of Best Little Whorehouse in Texas with, with uh, Burt Reynolds. Um, another, you know, great... I hear Kevin. I hear Kevin is a oh. bearded geek is also a fan of uh, whorehouses in Texas. He does. Okay, listen. There's <laughs> there's actually a, f- a flooring place not too far from here called the ble- best uh, the best yeah, little floor little house whorehouse in Texas. <laughs> I l- freaking love it. That's so funny. Um, but um, one of her, uh, I think one of her better movies uh, all around is still Magnolias. Uh, just mm-hmm. a great A A list cast. Everybody drink your juice, it. Shelby. Drink your juice. 
<laughs> Drink your juice, Shelby. Uh, and then um, one of the other movies that um, uh, I've seen it once, uh, Rhinestone, which is a, I thought was actually a good movie, but it's been a while since I've seen Rhinestone. Uh, so Lily Tomlin, uh, Incredible Shrinking Woman, one of her popular movies she did back then, um, All of Me, another movie. I've never seen it, but I heard was a good movie. Uh, and then I liked her in Beverly Hillbillies, also with Dabney Coleman. <laughs> yeah. Jim Barney, yeah, that was always funny, Beverly Hillbillies remake. Uh, and the last one I put was uh, Jane Fonda. Uh, one of her uh, biggest roles, uh, actually in the 60s, was Barbarella, mm -hmm. 1968. Um, that's what a lot of people started to know her for. Um, Stanley and Iris, <clears throat> which was also a pretty popular movie from her. Uh, and I also one that I liked her in. Uh, was actually Monster in Law with Jennifer Lopez. I thought that was a cute movie. Uh, but that that is all I've got for the three actresses. All right. Well, yeah. as we come to a close, Steve, where can people find you on your did podcast? Did we do our ratings yet? We didn't. I was oh, about, we didn't do ratings, did we? I was about. I was about to say. I'll give you my rating real quick. Before Look, I it's been a long plug. week. It's been a while since we actually recorded, so I'm missing the format. So uh, it's all good. I Mikey the Freak, what was your ratings of the movie? Nine to five. <laughs> um, it went backwards. Um, no, my my rating it's a sol to me it's a solid eight. A very entertaining movie. Um, great list of actresses uh, from the seventies and eighties. Um, you know, you know, even actors. Uh, so um, fun, entertaining, hmm. funny. I love the scene. One of my favorite parts. I love the scene where they do. Uh, how would they actually? Uh, try to kill uh, Frank Hart Jr. Uh, yeah, when they, they do that when they when they do that when they get stoned. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So uh, uh, a great scene, very funny. Um, but uh, yeah, a solid eight on my part. Uh, Bearded Geek, what about yourself? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it a solid eight, um, almost eight point five, but not quite. I'll give it an eight though. No boob bump. Sorry. No boob bump. No boob bump. <laughs> almost. I mean, you could almost <clears throat> dolly. I mean, I'm just dolly. I mean, I'm just saying. But yeah, it's a solid eight. Fun movie. Fun to watch. I, I would highly recommend this movie to just about everybody. Uh, Steve, how about you? I'll give it eight out of ten. And that's <laughs> all I gotta say. It's an eight out of ten. All right. So there are our ratings now, Steve. Where can people Ladies find Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> you can find me at the last podcast you'd want. We release every Thursday uh, each week, hopefully bringing to you a new guest co-host. Uh, other than that, uh, yeah, 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 this, this schmo was just on it. Uh, <laughs> other than that, uh, you can find me on every major podcasting outlet. Uh, you can find me here on Back to the Retro Review. You can find me on Lay It the Squad Down on the Mod Squad Network. Uh, other than that, tip the veal, try the staff. Thank you all for coming. And if you didn't, better luck next time. That's right. You can find this on most major podcasting platforms or YouTube. If you find us on YouTube, make sure you give us a good old thumb and hit that like and subscribe. Do all the YouTuber things. Check out the Mod Squad on the mod squad network <laughs> check out the mod squad network we have a horror show a movie show a wrestling review show and we go live every saturday night with a giveaway so check that out all right i do believe that's it so for mikey the freak and steve i am the bearded geek saying keep it retro everybody too hardcore for one hand